Hey guys, welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for those customers whose Samsung Android smartphone has been locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock. So if your phone is locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock, I mean to say Samsung any series like F series, M series, S series, any kind of series can, uh, have been locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock. So you may visit this video and unlock your uh, phone without any visiting service center and without any uh, software. Okay. So firstly, you will have to a uh, hard reset of your smartphone. I mean to say Samsung your smartphone when your uh, phone's hard reset has been completed, you will reach to this phase when you will switch on your smartphone here. You can see here simply you will get uh, this type of phase. simply you will have to start on this phase, and when you will go through all the options, let's check what happened here. Go to the next. And uh, uh, when you go with this process. So here it's asking here your pin pattern or password lock. So simply you will uh, use this uh, use my Google account instead. Simply you will have to click on this and when you will go with this option, you can see here here it will ask your Gmail ID and password. So if you have your Gmail ID and password, then you may go with, uh, go through with your Gmail ID and password. But if you don't have your Gmail ID and password, so uh, here I will uh, show you some tip and tricks by which you can bypass this uh, Gmail ID credential. Okay. So this method, this is known as FRP bypass. Okay, I mean to say if uh, Google, uh, uh, if your phone is locked due to Google, any verification uh, that is known as uh, Google FRP bypass here. Okay, so here <coughs> with the help of some tips and tricks, you will uh, get an skip option on this page. So I will show you how you can do this. Firstly, you will have to go to the start page again here. Now, firstly, you will have to change your here language. Simply, you will have to select the language English UK and go to the OK option. Okay, now you will have to uh, go to the this emergency call option. Simply, you will have to click on this emergency call option. Now, here you will have to dial star has star zero, star has zero, star has, and when you will click on this star has zero, star has, you will get a such type of display. Here you will get a lots of option, but you will have to go to the option of version. Simply, you will have to click on this version option. When you will click on this version option, it will show you your phones all the versions. So simply you will have to wait on this page for five seconds and your five second, uh, when your five second will be completed, minimum five seconds. So simply you will have to go to the back option. Now here you will get an option of sensor option. Simply you will have to click on this sensor option. Uh, when you will click on this sensor option, you will see here uh, there will be some synchronizing option will show on your display. So you will have to wait on this space for five seconds. And again, when your five seconds will be done, simply you will have to go to the previous page to the back option. And again, you will have to go to the back option. Again, you will have to go to the back. Now here you will have to start this option. Okay. Now when you will start this option, simply you will have to go to the agree option and go to the agree here go to the more and agree okay one more thing i would like to tell you my friend uh, for this your phone should be charged at least 20 percent here and uh, your phone should be uh, definitely connected to the wi-fi network i mean to say your phone should be connected with the internet because it's most important to connect your phone to the internet uh, for this frp bypass method okay now here you will get an option of uh, add network option simply you will have to click on this add network option but before this you will have to do something else Simply you will have to press the uh, power button and the volume up button at the same time for the 5 seconds to switch on your phone's talkback op option. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Press and release. Click on this use option. Again, you will have to do the same. Release. Now here you will have to draw a opposite L. Click on this one. Open Google Assistant. Open Google Assistant. Open Google Assistant. Open Setting. Now, when your setting option will be open, you will have to switch off your talkback option again uh, with the same process power button and the volume up button at the same time for the five second. Press and release. Okay, now here you will get a lots of option, but you will have to go to the option of lock screen here. 
now you will have to click on this uh, screen lock type option for five time one two three four and five when your five times will be completed you will uh, get an option of about lock skin simply you will have to click on this option here uh, it will show you show you your phone's lock screen version number and the, you will get a uh, pop up of the latest version is installed so it means uh, your phone will be completed uh, with the FRB bypass here simply you will have to click on this open source license here and you will have to wait on this page for 5 seconds here okay okay now here 5 seconds has been done after that simply you will have to go to the back option again you will have to go to the back option here now here one more thing you will have to do with your phone you will have to open your software option download and install you will have to switch off this uh, auto download over wi-fi go to the back option now after that again you will have to go to the back option here close this one now after that here you will have to go to this add network option here now here you will have to type here in capital Samsung FRP bypass and you will have to go to this view more option now here you will have to make some changes here simply you will have to go to the IP static here you will have to change here something you will have to change here DNS 1 that is 808.85.4 same you will have to same the type here 808.85.452.152 and go to the next now you will have to type here 22 okay now all the thing has been done after that simply you will have to go to the back option here now here you will get an option of setting simply you will have to open this setting option here and you will have to go to the back again you will have to click on this add network option here you will get an option of setting simply you will have to click on this setting option now firstly you will have to uh, go to this uh, reset to default setting simply you will have to click on this and you will have to reset this erase all the personalization prediction go with the back option okay now after this you will have to go to the option of language you will have to select the language english uk and us both go to the back again you will have to go to the back option now you will get an option of text shortcut you will have to go to this you will have to add here frp and here sorry in capital samsung and the second would be frp bypa double s bypass okay you will have to add here go to the back now all the settings has been done after that you will have to go to the back option here now again you will have to go to the back option and reach to the starting page okay now all the setup has been done now let's check what happened by the help of some tricks and tricks uh, either escape option is showing on the gmail id credential or not okay so go to the start option check all these option here go to the agree go to the more agree all the setup has been done go to the next choose here don't copy option now here you can see here on this google credential uh, 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 google credential option is showing here a skip option i mean to say now you can bypass this page i mean to say if you don't have remember your gmail id and password so you uh, by the help of some tips and tricks you can see here you will get an option of a skip now by this uh, skip option you can bypass this credential simply you will have to click on this skip option and you will have to again skip here 
now you will have to go to the accept if you want to use new pin pattern and password so you may use from this page but uh, right now i will go with this skip option here skip anyway go to the okay go to the next skip this page now you will get a pop up of your all setup it means your all the setup has been done now simply you will have to click on this finish option here you will have to go with this i agree option now here you will have uh, to select all language so i will suggest you select a single language here so i will go with this english go to the continue here select your gender select your age criteria here now you will have to click on this install and finish and again you will have to click on this finish option now you can see here my friend my samsung android smartphone has been completely unlocked and the main thing is that you can see here my phones all the application like baizu joes just money all the application which were uh, installed previously when my phone was not logged as it is showing in my smartphone so this is very useful method by though for those customers who don't wants to lose their smartphones data especially in samsung i mean to say if you want to uh, bypass your frp credential of your smartphone so you may use this method okay so if your smartphone i mean to say if your samsung smartphone is unlocked with the help of this video then do the like this video and if your smartphone could not unlock with the help of this video then make us comment which type of issues you are facing in this uh, method our team will quick response on your issues with the help of comments and whatsapp uh, calls thank you so much see you in the next videos